Baby in a hospital full of sick children, that's definitely a good idea. Hello everybody, my name is Freedom Flash and today I'll be giving my overinflated opinion on a flurry of emotions. I can't believe a whole class just came down with the horsey hives. I resent that prefix, especially given that you could have just as easily said that they had chicken pox, especially given that that's what it looks like they have anyway. We're not exactly art enthusiasts, but we could really use a night out. Night out? You two look like it could use a night in. You're tired after looking after a baby for however long, and on your first day off, you decide to go out instead of getting some sleep? Maybe a shave? You didn't want to, I don't know, rest? Changing the topic, Spearhead is considerably more interesting than I thought he'd be. First off, he's huge. He's taller than Cadence and, after comparison, Princess Luna, which makes him the second tallest pony in the show after Princess Celestia. He's also just genuinely one of the nicest people we've seen in the show. When Shining and Cadence look at his art, the thing that makes him happy is that he was able to bring back happy memories for them. And when he picks up that they're missing Flurry Heart, he immediately tells them to leave and go back to their child. That's genuine friendliness and care and even in the context of the show I find it refreshing. Even if he has a somewhat modern art style. It's also pretty cool that Twilight uses a pocket watch. I just really, really like that particular detail. But if you add that to the 40 minutes we were already behind, we're still 55 minutes behind! Because Flurry can play with the Cake Twins and stay out of trouble. That is quite possibly the worst idea you have ever had. <laughs> Wonderful. They're friends already. Wait for it. <laughs> Told you. Okay, this is interesting. For a long time now, people have been considering the possibility of Grogar coming back as a villain for the new generation. For those who don't know, Grogar is a villain from way back in the first generation of MLP, the current generation being the fourth. The show's done something like this before, that's how we got Tyrek. Because of that, there has been widespread speculation and enthusiasm for Grogar doing the same. And now he has through the story Twilight told. Unfortunately, I think this means that Grogar won't become a villain in the show proper. Judging by the title of the book he's in, I'm predisposed to believe that it's a written story as opposed to a myth or legend that's been documented text. If it were, I'd consider the likelihood of Grogar becoming real to increase given the extraordinary propensity for equestrian legends to turn out to be true. However, given that it's apparently an authored story, Story, I don't believe Grogar will become real because I doubt the writers want to go for a daring do 2.0. Okay, that's it. Twilight, you are being a bit of an idiot. And it's for the exact opposite reason to what you think it is. You see, Twilight thinks that the thing she's been making a mistake about is how much attention she's been paying to Flurry Heart, when this isn't actually the problem. True, she could have been more attentive, but when it comes to actually interacting with Flurry Heart, she's been pretty good. The actual problem she has is number one, she took on Flurry Heart when she already had a full day planned, and number two, the way she reacted to Flurry Heart while she was reading to the foals. How Twilight managed to ignore a temper tantrum she was having right next to her escapes me, but all that being said, I really don't think Twilight made a major mistake in this episode, because this is all Flurry Heart's fault. You could argue that she's a baby, but the mere fact that she understands Twilight's apology in this scene indicates that she's not. In short, Flurry Heart is showing too much intelligence in this scene for the she's a baby excuse to hold water. True, Twilight could be considered too harsh here, but that's under the assumption that she's talking to a baby, which as far as intelligence goes, Flurry Heart isn't. She's more on a level with a young child or toddler, in which case scolding, whilst unpleasant, is on occasion necessary. Oh, and don't think Cadence and Shining Armor are off the hook. You don't just get to drop a baby in someone's lap out of the blue. All in all, everyone was a bit of an idiot in this episode, except for Spike. 
he did pretty good. He tried to keep Twilight on schedule, tried to solve the twins' fight, and otherwise was generally inoffensive. That just leaves us with the big question of what happened to Flurry's magic suppressants. Either they stopped working, or you expect me to believe that she's still this powerful even with them on. Which, frankly, is utterly terrifying. I've been Freedom Flash, and thanks for watching.